Hi everybody, we're going to do a what am I wearing and why. So today I'm wearing an Armory Model 11 beige tweed jacket. I'm wearing an Ascot Chang button-down shirt, a Drake's tie for our 10th anniversary. Um, so it's done in our color. So it's navy with a burgundy and a gold inside. Um, I've got a pair of Pamela bespoke trousers, a single pleat. And then for my shoes, I, this is a pair of Armory loafers that we haven't put into production yet. This is just a sample that I made for myself. Just kind of get a sense of like, oh, will people like it or not? And you know, I really like it. So hopefully we will see this in production next year. For my wrist check today, I've got the Grand Seiko SBGZ001. In fact, they just released the SBGZ005, um, which is like staggeringly expensive, but it is really beautiful. Um, the SBGZ005 has what you might call a suribachi pattern. So suribachi is like pestle and mortar. It's the bowl and that the, the bowl is the, the bowl is the pestle or the mortar? Anyway, it's got that line pattern that you see inside those bowls as a dial. And a little bit of trivia, that dial was actually originally designed to be the last dial for the final production of the 1960s Grand Seiko first. Uh, and then for various reasons that never went into production because actually it was a very difficult dial to make and somehow today They've actually managed to resurrect that idea and make it producible and that is now on the SBGZ005 um, I've I really want to see one in the metal. I've never seen one in the metal myself, but from the photos uh, It's really it's a very subtle finish. So unless you see it in a close-up photo, you'll never get a real sense um, for it but hunt down some photos because it's a really, really beautiful piece. All right, anyway, why am I wearing this today? That was a big aside. Why am I wearing this today? Um, Model 11, this beige tweed thing, I've been wearing it a lot. I wore it a lot last week. Uh, I just really like it. It's something that I had very much on my mind since when we first did the orders for fall, winter 20. You know, we placed our cloth orders a year in advance. So it takes a little while to like, see these things come through and finally arrive in the shop. And you know, honestly, like by the time they arrive in the shop, you've already kind of forgotten like what you actually um, prepared for the shop. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna put with this, which is basically everything, right? Like this thing goes with blue jeans, it goes with weird trousers, it goes with olive trousers like I'm wearing today. Um, and you know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Like it is really like what the Model 11 is all about. You know, the Model 11 is great for someone who uh, is sort of interested in tailoring, but doesn't quite know where to go, you know, or he doesn't normally wear tailoring that often. So it's a good like casual tailoring option, but you know, you could definitely dress it up and use it like as a traditional blazer style as well. A um, couple of interesting details on it. For the Model 11, I always do two button on my cuff. We, we come with three tacked on, but I always take one of the buttons off and then cut the buttonholes and just leave two. It's like an old American detail. You see it on a lot of Ivy jackets and you know, I like doing it that way. Um, I also like the color, you know, the color is kind of unusual because like in the summer I wear a lot of like cream linen, like ivory linen sort of colors. And this is the winter alternative, right? Like it's a little bit darker and yellower than those creams and ivories that you might associate with summer. Uh, but the nice thing is that, you know, they look good in winter, especially in kind of slightly grayer weather like we're having today. And um, they are just about dark enough that you can wear a white shirt with it, right? So there's just enough contrast to wear this with a white shirt and say like a black grenadine or something like that. It's another great way of putting a look together around this kind of jacket and this kind of color. Alrighty, um, other stuff we're gonna shoot today. Uh, let's see, I wanna show the Charles jacket again. Charles jacket is an old design that we actually did for spring summer, but you know, in Hong Kong in this sort of weather, it's actually pretty perfect. So we'll go into why that's so great next. And uh, I just got a new suit from Taylor Cade. So we're gonna do a little unboxing as well. Alrighty, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.